Good afternoon. It is Wednesday. Heavy Metal Noise here with you. Wanted to make a video for you. Show you some coins that I just got in the mail as of yesterday. They are the South Korean Chi Woo Chion Wang. I believe I, <laughs> I believe that's how you say that. I'm not sure. Very limited mintage. If I remember right, there was South Korea did 5,000 of these. So if you do the math, that's rough. They're half ounce coins. It's, uh, I want to say 2,500 ounces only allocated for just these coins alone. Amazing. They have the matte finish on the front and on the side, you know, just around these edges here. It's, I've never felt a coin that has these, uh, it's almost like sandpaper, like right when you get to the very edge here, it's almost like it grips your finger where you can't drop it or anything. It doesn't even slide off your finger because of the edges, but uh, it's a very rough finish on the edges here. Pretty cool. I, I don't have any of these, and I, between the community, the silver stacking community, maybe some of you saw the videos on that. These were on sale for a very short time, I think picked them up at uh, 20 20 dollars and 79 cents 21 dollars it was right it was right there give or take you know 50 cents so those of you who are able to grab these good for you because there was only 5,000 of them minted from South Korea good collector maybe it'd be worth uh, holding on to for a little bit when the prices go up you can flip them whatever you choose to do if you're stacking for weight if you like collectors because they are definitely that they're beautiful coins and uh Wanted to talk about a couple of things. Uh, silver spot right now as I'm making this video is right around $17.32. And uh, people are still wondering, and even sometimes I'm wondering, is right now, for those of you who are new or even not new, you know, just going along with this casually and put, adding to your stack, is right now a great time, a good time, or even a bad time to stack? With all the uncertainty, well, it just depends on your budget, in my personal opinion. Uh, if you got the money, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't continue to stack. I've seen a few videos out there that are saying, just lay low, wait until things settle down. Well, I don't know if anyone's seen it, but Europe passed an all-time record stimulus bill over there. Japan passed a huge stimulus bill in their country while here in the United States our senators are off poolside enjoying Mai Tais and while well, we're waiting to see what's going to happen with us the ones who are struggling for a paycheck those of you who may be out of work for a load wherever the case may be uh, definitely my heart goes out to those of, the, those of you watching and struggling I know what it's like I have generally I work two jobs I uh, not working one of them but uh, my second job isn't essential so that's so far uh, guaranteed to keep going and that's a it's a decent income but uh, those of you who are on a tight budget I don't find anything wrong if you take a pause either if you're able to set aside a few bucks here and there Instead of going after something like this, of course this was super on bargain sale at the moment, you know, a week and a half ago or whatever. As opposed to going to something, you know, pricier like this. Look around, SD Bullion, a lot of the sources, JM Bullion, etc. Excuse me, got the hiccups. Just to get your hands on some silver, go with generic rounds. It's the best bang for your buck. If you're able to get something under twenty dollars you're in the range of 19 18 your local coin star if you're anywhere in the range of you know a little above 18 to 20 dollars right there as of right now you're not gonna beat it that's why I say for the generic rounds you get the bang for your buck and if as these on retail you're not gonna get you know the bang for your buck these are marked up they're specialty a little more of a specialty coin you know like a limited mintage or like a Silver American Eagle, Maple Leafs, things like that, that carry a high premium. In my, in my very dedicated opinion, because I, I try to stick to it, 
I do like premium coins, don't get me wrong, but I do want to stack weight because if and when this whole mess wants to come crashing down, we don't know when that is. It could be tomorrow. It could be five years from now. It could be today. I don't know. No one really knows. It's exciting to think that if you're able to have weight, not necessarily just these, you know, no premium, none. Get just the rounds and the silver itself at a decent price, bang for your buck. You're going to come out so farther ahead than so many people would even imagine. You know, I, I've met a few people that only stack premium coins. And they're really, really spending a lot of money on you know, these silver American Eagles, the silver maple leaves, you know, the, you know, you, you know, the, Australian kookaburra, excuse me. I was having trouble talking. I knew what I was trying to say. I just couldn't spit it out. But uh, you don't have to buy premium coins. Weight is very important because a single ounce pretending that this is just, you know, a buffalo head is going to, when if I believe the silver to dollar ratio is over 3,000 right now, the paper contracts, I believe I looked at it here about an hour or two ago, it was roughly about 174 to 1. That is incredible. If It is confusing to do the math on that. It's gold and silver for every... It's pulled out of the ground 8 to 1. And doing the math from the paper contracts to the dollar to silver ratio, it puts silver roughly at a little, you know, 5,000 plus dollars an ounce. And it, the paper contracts have risen. 174 to 1. That's the stock market. You got to buy 174 shares for one physical ounce of silver. Physical. So, I don't know how anyone justifies doing that. Maybe it, it, it baffles me. I'm not a stock market guy. I was. I got out. Did the 401k thing. Got out. <laughs> if you don't hold it, you don't own it. If things want to come tumbling down, cash in all those silver shares, SLV, GLD, if gold's your thing, if you want to cash out, you don't have the physical. Then the money is worthless. It is in a digital screen and hoping that you got out in time. You're holding it. It's going to be used for whatever you want it to be used for. That's cash, bartering. It's... The physical value is going to be far more valuable than stock market when it comes tumbling down. That's why I stress to most people who watch my videos, to any silver stacking community will tell you, we would always much rather have physical. We don't play in the stock market. So, back to what I was saying, weight is very important. If you're able to get a good price... 19 18 god bless your heart if you can get 18 but stay away from premium if you're on a tight budget you don't need premium coins there's nothing to show off because it's only you who you're protecting and your loved ones silver stacking community people who are able to show expensive coins off not necessarily me but uh there are a lot of them out there that have a lot bigger budget than me and some others and that's that's awesome they, were, they set themselves up for success and more power to them. I primarily go down about 70-30. I like premium coins, but I do not make it a priority. 70% of my stack is rounds, things that I can get a good bang for my buck. This is an exception. I was able to get an amazing deal. Yes, it was a half ounce silver coin, so I paid the same price of a round, full ounce round. But these are going to carry a little bit more of a premium down the road. I believe the last ones that were similar to this doubled in their value within two years. If not even a year, I can't remember. I'd have to check my sources on that, but I missed out on that. So I wasn't going to miss out on a limited mintage. If I want to flip these to invest and turn around to get a bunch of rounds, maybe I'll do it. But it's a day-by-day -day process. You just wait and see. And if you're eager, you just got that bug that you got to get out and get some. Go for the rounds. You'll be able to get a lot more for your money. And you won't regret it. I promise you. Sure, everyone likes to have a diversified little 
portfolio of silver, be able to show off, oh, I got all kinds of different coins, yay, yay, yay. It's cool. It is cool. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I like having a little bit of a different stack to show you, but it's not the most important thing. We're trying to preserve our wealth, protect ourselves, our wives, our families, those we love, because this is going to protect you against all monopoly fiat money that has the Federal Reserve note symbols on it. Whatever super hyperinflation, deflation, stagnation, whatever you want to call it. This always maintains itself. It sticks with the dollar. Gold is exponential. And the dollar, not the dollar, but the silver to gold ratio was under, just barely under 100 yesterday. I don't know what it is today. I haven't checked. But the silver bugs out there, we're catching it. We're catching up. So if you're able to maintain the course, you, you ain't going to regret it. The results have proven itself through history, okay? Every fiat currency has failed at least one time or another. How long can the American fiat currency work? The only reason it's still working is because everybody has faith in it. It's us. It's people around the globe that have faith in the dollar that keeps it standing. There's going to come a day that there's so much of it. People are going to start looking around like, man, I'm paying five bucks at the loaf of bread. My gas, well, I don't know about gas because <laughs> nobody's driving. And that gas oil market is just like a ping pong ball. No one wants, no one knows whether it wants to go up or down or negative, you know. But uh, people are already waking up and seeing how much longer, how much of a life does our dollar have? And it's not only just here, it's around the world. All the currencies are just, you know, being hammered with stimulus, which is good for the working people. There's a ton of people who need assistance. I'm not bashing the stimulus. It's just flooding the market with cash, you know, when unfortunately so many people who need it don't have access to be able to invest and in grab silver or gold. And for that, I mean, help them. <laughs> I'm not making fun of anyone who's in one of those predicaments at all. There's been times that I haven't been able to afford, you know, a slice of cheese in my life, believe it or not. But stay stringent, frugal, budget your money. Silver's not a must. You do not have to go out and get this today. It's going to be there. It is carrying a premium. Like I reinforce, get the rounds if you have to get in. If you have to get in, get the rounds. Better bang for your buck. And if you want to avoid it altogether, that's fine too. Who knows? Our silver prices might drop tomorrow by 2 or $3. I don't see that happening, but it could. Things are going to level out, I'm hoping, for the rest of us who are able to continue our stacks, where premiums are going to go down, hopefully. And there's not such a, matic, a panic mad rush to get it. Where all the coin shops, these mints that we're buying from, are just making a killing. Because... A lot of it is, in my belief, new stackers that are getting in and they don't, they don't know much about what, you know, what's a good price, what's not a good price. So they're out there buying, you know, the Silver American Eagles for 28 bucks, you know, per coin. You don't need to do that. Something like this, two years, I'm going to predict it right now, two years from now, this is going to be worth, and this is only half ounce, okay, half ounce. It's going to be worth more than your American Silver Eagles in one to two years because they will carry a premium. Can I guarantee that? No, I'm just predicting that. That's all. <laughs> I like to hear myself talk about and it motivates me that I made a good investment. Hell, maybe I didn't. Maybe these will stay the same of what I bought them at. But one way or another, there's nothing, nothing that demands you get in right now. If it's not in your budget, don't go broke trying to. Your bills come first. Your family comes first. Take care of the immediates. Then discipline yourself and what you have left over. If you can, go ahead and buy it. You know, a silver buffalo. Right now, I think I saw buffaloes for sale around just over 19, 19 and change. And shop around. Watch more community, the silver stacking community. There's a lot of videos out there and they show you coins that are on sale silver one silver 5150 released a video today of a few coins that he's considering there's a lot of folks out there that are helping trying to help those that aren't sure 
and I've stated it and I think every one of my videos, I learn something every day and I watch the other silver stacking community for their point of views. Maybe I'm doing something that I should be that I didn't think of. Maybe it's not a good time to buy when I thought it was and those who've been doing a lot longer than me say, just hold on, it'll be there, okay? So that's all I had to say today. You know, I wanted to address the issue because people are confused new stackers people that's been stacking aren't sure do i need to get in should i wait it, it just depends on you and it's not stupid to wait they're not going to go through the roof it's not going to hit a 50 dollars. it's not going to hit a hundred dollars an ounce overnight i can almost promise you that i can't guarantee you anything but i can pro i almost promise you that that ain't going to happen and this is an up and down roller coaster. Silver goes up and down. But it is outperforming throughout the years, the stock market. And you ask yourself, how's that? Well, silver in the old days was not expensive. You go back from four or $5 an ounce, cheaper than that even before I was born, to all the way up to $17, $18. Physical demands even above that. You know, you're in the 20s. We've never seen things like this before. There was a time that it hit up to $50 an ounce. That wasn't very long ago. I think that was about 10 years ago. But it was short-lived. I'm not so sure this next upcoming is going to be short-lived, though. This might be the king of the crop. And those of you who are holding it, God bless you. If not, hopefully you got some kind of reserves on the side, some money. Whatever the case is that you like to invest in. If it's stocks, that's cool. I'm not here to bash anyone who likes to be in the stock market. It's not me. But uh, this is a silver stacking community video. This is what we're here to give you advice about. Like it, love it, hate it. It's been around for over 5,000 years and it's here to stay. So you got any questions, want to leave your comments down below. Like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate y'all watching and have a great rest of your day heavy metal noise out